May it please the court. It is my privilege to present a memorial minute in memory of my late partner, Joseph J. Kalkbrenner, Jr. On behalf of the Kalkbrenner family, I thank the court and the Bar Association for the opportunity to do so. Joe was born on June 22, 1957, and passed away on November 23, 2020, at age 63, after a long and heroic battle against the early onset Alzheimer's, which slowly and relentlessly sapped his skill and knowledge and memory. Joe was the son of the late Joseph J. Kalkbrenner Sr. and the late Donna J. Hawthorne Kalkbrenner and the husband of Lori O'Hara Kalkbrenner. Joe and Lori were married during Joe's third year at Widener Law School. Joe was a proud father of four sons, Joseph, Matthew, Stephen, and Ryan, the father-in-law of Caitlin and Jocelyn, and the brother of Mary Elizabeth Klein, James, Donna, and John Kalkbrenner Jr. Kalkbrenner. Joe died a few months before the birth of his granddaughter, Emma Rose Kalkbrenner. Joe was raised in Maple Glen, Pennsylvania. He graduated from Upper Dublin High School, LaSalle University, and Widener School of Law. He was also an alumni of Gennardi's Family Markets, where he worked during his high school, college, and law school years. While in law school, Joe interned with the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, and after graduation in 1982, he was hired by District Attorney Joseph Smythe and served with distinction under Tom Waters and Mike Marino, eventually becoming Chief of the Trials Division. Joe left the District Attorney's Office in 1989 and became an associate at the firm of Coffin and Hughes. While an associate, Joe was appointed to represent the defendant charged with the murder of Norristown police officer Thomas Barone, who was killed in a line of duty while responding to a domestic disturbance. Joe accepted the appointment and diligently and zealously represented the defendant during a highly charged and emotional trial. While working late one evening at our offices in one Montgomery Plaza, Joe was visited by officers of the Norristown Police Department who thanked him for his professional manner in which he discharged his obligations to represent the defendant under such difficult and tragic circumstances. Joe became a partner in the firm in 1994 and continued as a partner until his condition forced his retirement in 2012 at age 54. Joe was a dedicated advocate for his clients and an avid worker. After we moved our offices from One Montgomery Plaza to Plymouth Township, our offices abutted a residential neighborhood and the neighbors often asked why the lights in one of the offices always seemed to be on. That was Joe's office and a testament to his diligent work ethic. Joe focused his practice on business formation, commercial and civil litigation, criminal law, family law, and landlord-tenant law. He counseled numerous startup businesses which continue to thrive as a result of his sage advice. Joe was a member of, and then solicitor to, the Montgomery Township Zoning Hearing Board and a member of the Pennsylvania and Montgomery Bar Associations. He was admitted to the United States Supreme Court, the United States Federal District Court, and the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. He served as a director of the Montgomery Bar Association from 2004 through 2006. All who met Joe were impressed by his gentlemanly and courtly demeanor and even keeled temperament. Joe was totally dedicated and committed to his clients and their causes. Following Joe's retirements, clients called regularly to inquire about his condition and to express concern for his well-being. Joe loved his wife and his boys. He was a dedicated runner and Saturday morning basketball player. He enjoyed coaching his sons in basketball and baseball, working in his gardens, and spending time with his extended family at the Kalkbrenner compound in Longport, New Jersey. Tragically, his life and career were cut short by the insidious nature of Alzheimer's. He died peacefully, peacefully surrounded by his family after the long losing battle. With this court's permission, I respectfully request that this memorial minute be made part of the permanent record of this honorable court and a copy transmitted to the Kalkbrenner family. Thank you.